everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to work on the lid to my heart box, and I thought we could just do this together. Um, this was the heart box I received in my design team kit from Angel Dreamcrafts Kim on Etsy, and I am finally um, getting a chance to work on it, and I am using the beautiful digital kit from Doreen, um, the Pink Parfait Cafe. <clears throat> Absolutely love that kit and I will have a link to uh, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures where you can get the beautiful digitals I'm using and I will also put a link to Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy who is going to supply all the lace that I'm using um, for this project. So this was one of the pages in the Pink Parfait Cafe kit. It's just gorgeous. So I printed it out on cardstock and then I zigzag stitched around the edges and then I inked the edges with some vintage photo distress ink and it's just so pretty. So I'm trying not to completely cover up this beautiful background but what I'm thinking is kind of like a flower, uh, a bunch of flowers here, a grouping of flowers here and then I want to use this beautiful image from the kit that I cut out of, do I have it? I don't think I have it right here. But anyway, this was a bigger, like a postcard size and I just cut this image out. And then I inked the edges and stickled the Eiffel Tower and I think it's so stinking adorable and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go over here um, because I'm gonna have so much stuff here. You're not gonna see this part of the heart, probably. <laughs> because I'm thinking it's gonna be full of all kinds of bits so I want this guy I think to be kind of right there so you can still kind of see how beautiful the paper is I don't know because I am gonna put some background stuff behind there and I am thinking um, a piece of this beautiful heart tool I got from Angel Dream Crafts and then probably this gorgeous lace uh, from Angel Dream Crafts on top kind of with that I maybe want to do a bit of this is such a pretty scallop lace maybe maybe I want to kind of put that up behind the image like that maybe is kind of what I'm thinking so I'm gonna just tack this down lightly and then trim off the bits that I don't want to use, I think. Is that what I want to do? Do I want to trim this up a little bit first? No, I don't think I do. Actually, I kind of like that covering this half of the heart, right? That's really, really cute. So I might actually just do that. And I will just... Um, use just a little bit of hot glue to hold it down while I do the trimming. I'm trying to remember to use my spatula, not my fingers. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so now that's held down a little bit. I can kind of come through and trim off some of this that I don't want on the actual box. I kind of like the way it's covering this half of the heart. I just think that's cute, so we're gonna go with it. Wasn't my original intent, but that's mostly how my projects go. I go in with a kind of a vague idea, and then as you play around, it kind of reveals itself to you, so that is adorable. But I still think I want to put this beautiful, I love the texture on this lace. So which way do I wanna go? Oh, please excuse me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I think I want, I do want this here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I like it. Maybe even a little bit more this way. Yeah, all right. So let me just tack that down a little bit. I don't like to like put a bunch of glue when I'm just playing around and when I'm not um, committed, you know, because 
I don't want it to be too hard to remove if I change my mind, which happens a lot. So let's just do that. Oh no, that's so cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I think I'm pretty sold on that. But I think I might pop this up on a little bit of foam tape and then have this coming out of the side of it because this is really cute. So I'm gonna tack this down just a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure that's staying. All right. Yeah, okay. And I want this on top. I love these scallops. Actually, I really wanted to make a flower out of this, but I it just wants to be used on this project, so we're going to. So I'm gonna glue down the end. And I probably should get out my little finger covers because I can tell I'm gonna be sticking my fingers in the glue. <gasps> but I don't know where they are. Goodness gracious. Okay, well, I can't find those right now. <laughs> of course. Of course I can't. So I'm just gonna kind of pleat this up. Because it's just so pretty when you do that. I love it. I mean, the lace is gorgeous anyway, but I think it looks even nicer. I'll pleat it up, ruffled up. I really should, you know, get my tools together before I begin. And then I wouldn't be putting my finger in this hot glue. But I mean, it's a thing. Just such a cute lace. I know I said I didn't want to cover up the beautiful background heart, but this is what I do, right? But you can still see the beautiful paper through the lace, and that is amazing. I think I'm gonna follow it all the way um, to the end of this lace, even though the, the image I wanna use is not that tall. I think it'll look better. We just do that. Today is my day off. And I'm very happy to get to, to craft. I'm actually feeling a little under the weather. So I had to send my husband to church by himself today. But luckily I could I could uh, watch it online, so that was fine. Just like whenever I'm feeling under the weather, just because I don't know, there's so many things going around right now, it seems like. I don't want to spread anything around, so just stay home. There we go. Oh, I love this. Look at how pretty it is. Okay. <clears throat> Almost done. that off right there oh that's so sweet I love I love it so cute and I probably have enough where I can still use uh, make a flower with it I need to get some more from the store okay so what I think I'm gonna do is prop that up with some uh, dimensional foam tape at least on this one side let's see yeah okay but I don't want to use my fabric scissors to cut that where are my where are my everything scissors and I really thought I was prepared <laughs> okay here's my everything scissors Oh, I just put that on the wrong side. Goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Luckily, I can peel that off without making a big mess. Thank you. 
that's the side we want the foam tape on. But I think we're also going to put a strip in the middle. Yeah, and then I can just hot glue this down to the ruffle. And that's so cute. So I just want to make sure where I want to put that because I'm going to put a big flower cluster right here that will probably be over the edge of that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. some glue right here and make some big old glue strings like we do that's just how we do so I might actually put something else right here because I think it needs it <clears throat> but I'm gonna wait on that what I want to do right now is I want to build up some laces um, that are gonna go under my flower cluster now, what is that going to be? I do want some dangles, but not too long dangles. So this is one of my favorite dangle trims from Angel Dream Crafts, and it's not too long. And I think it'll be just really pretty dangling off the edge. I'm also going to put, I think, a pleated tool trim along the side and I probably should do that first. So let me grab some. I really want to use this blush, but I don't know if I have enough of the blush to go all the way around. And I probably should have done this first, but at first I was thinking I would have it uh, coming down off of the side of the box. So then I didn't, I didn't need to put it on first, but the truth is it's going to lay better if I put it on the top. So I think I can still do that. Yeah. So I think that's what we're going to do. This beautiful blush tool trim. Uh, pleated tool. And uh, I get this at Angel Dream Crafts. And she has it in many, many colors. They're all beautiful. So I'm going to put it um, close to the edge. That's what I'm feeling. <clears throat> Let's get it on. I don't, I want to put things on this, you know, coming off of this thing, but I don't want them to interfere too much with the opening and closing of the box. So I feel like if I add this to the top rather than the side, it will not hinder the opening and closing of the box as much. At least that's my theory. <laughs> <clears throat> And it will still kind of lay down, so that's nice. I think that'll look nice. Yeah, all right. And if it doesn't lay down, like I'm gonna put the dangle lace on top of this, so this is gonna lay it down, but if it doesn't lay down the way I want it to, I can always come under it and uh, put some glue right there and just push this down so that it will be <coughs> down if it's sticking out too much but i think it's going to be okay i'm of course out of glue and already at 14 minutes are you kidding me okay <laughs> i really cannot go uh too much longer than 15 minutes or it just will not upload but it's because i live in the middle of a forest on a little mountain in Maine and we just don't have good internet here so I'd like to show you what I plan on doing so I'm gonna take the dangle trim and I'm gonna put some just on this side probably about that about that much and I'm gonna put two layers of that coming off of there and then I was thinking of taking the beautiful tool and bunching it up on top of the dangle 
So it'll be bunched up and the dangle will be peeking out. And then I'm going to use just a bunch of flowers to make an arrangement. And, and I would video that for you, but I'm going to be real honest with you. It, even though I've made many a flower cluster, I find it challenging every time. And I, it's a long process for me <laughs> to make a flower cluster that I am pleased with. Um, so it's just, I don't think I'm going to video that for you because it's a hot mess. I mean, it takes me a long time to do. I'd have to speed through and all the things, but when I get it finished, I will come on and show you what it looks like. I will show you the finished box. I'm doing some hand sewing on the bottom part of the box. I'm very excited about how this box is turning out and I can't wait to share it with you. So um, thank you for watching everybody. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and be sure and go check out Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. Follow the links below in the description box and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.